Hey everybody, it's Rebecca at Yarn and Pajamas, and this is my hashtag movie and stitch video, letter D. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the movie I watched for letter C, which was Coco, show you the project that I made while watching the video, and then um, reveal my letter D movie that I chose and picked out. And it was a hard one too, because there was a lot of good contenders there for what movie I wanted to watch. I had it narrowed down to like four and it was just really hard to pick. So, so let's just get right into it. So for the movie I watched for letter C was Coco and it's a um, Disney Pixar film. I watched it on Disney plus. Um, it is animated. So I brought it up on IMDB here so that I could tell you it was made in 2017. It's PG and it was an hour and 45 minutes. So I generally like the animated movies. Like one of my favorites is Wreck-It Ralph. So I thought this one would be good. So I'll read you what IMDB says about it here. It says, aspiring musician Miguel confronted with his family ancestral ban on music enters the land of the dead to find his great 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 grandfather a legendary singer so you have this family and it is almost time and i know that i can't um say this right for dios de los muertos so the day of the dead where um the their ancestors can come back from the land of the dead and visit the land of the living. So it's almost time for that. But um, Miguel, he just wants to be a musician. But his family are shoemakers. And you know, something way bad in the past happened and that's why there's a ban on the musicians. So, uh, the people that voice the characters, I didn't know um, anyone except for Benjamin Bratt, and he plays Ernesto and De La Cruz. Gail Garcia Bernal voices Hector, which was my favorite. <laughs> so I loved Hector. Anthony Gonzalez voiced Miguel. Let's see, Alana Ubach was Mama Imelda, and I really liked her character as well. Mm. I'm trying to find. And then Renee Victor is Abuelita. Abuelita, I believe that it was his grandmother. So, and that was, there was a part in there between him and his grandmother that, um, it just broke my heart when I don't, it's hard because I, you don't want to give away too much of the video for the people that's not seen it. But, you know, um, Miguel has taught himself how to play the guitar and basically just, you know, made his own. And, you know, has like every little boy secret stash of, you know, his, you know, favorite stuff or whatever. And his happens to be music. But um, his Abuelita does something like horrible but then it's like oh but come to me and love me and let's go do this and I'm like uh, well why would he do that you just scarred him <laughs> it's like he's not gonna two seconds later come and love up on you so that that part broke my heart but it was a really good movie um I learned a little bit more about um the day of the dead I took Spanish classes when I was in high school. So we done a lot of um, different heritage things like that, you know, Mexican culture had and Spanish culture and like things like Puerto Rico. There was like a lot of countries that, um, that spoke the Spanish language that we done different things for. So I remember just like barely a little bit of that for them. But the movie was really good. It was very colorful, very colorful. So I really liked it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say. It was, you learned a lesson, like a little bit of lesson and it was very entertaining. There was some singing about and stuff, but I wondered why it was like in English, but it was set in Mexico. 
So I bet they don't, maybe two versions of it, I wonder. Could be, I don't know. But um, on my last video, I asked for some suggestions of colors for my next block. So we're gonna roll right on into um, the project that I made. So the projects that I've been making throughout the whole movie and stitch, hashtag movie and stitch is later blocks. And it's just a block with the alphabet on it. So the letter C will be on this one. But I wanted it to resemble kind of like the, the building blocks that little kids use um, to play with. So I asked for suggestions and Jennifer G gave me a suggestion of purple or pumpkin. And I thought both of those really, those colors really encaptured Coco. So I went with pumpkin. So here is my letter C. So it's on, oops, Red Heart, Super Saver, and Pumpkin. So the alphabets are done in I Love This Yarn Fruit Salad. And I've done a way better job at sewing the capital C than I did the little C here. He's all crooked and stuff, but hopefully I'll get better at my sewing as this goes along. So the pattern that I used for the block here is... Granny Square 2.0 by Maria's Blue Crayon. And then the Moogly blog is where I got both appliques for the alphabet. And I will put those links down below. I will also put a link to my Chet Nanigans board here, my blocking board. It's very good. I use a steamer to block with and you know, it's been very sturdy. I've had it for a couple years now and blocked a lot of, used the steamer on it a lot and it's held up really well for anyone who's interested. And again, I'm not affiliated with any links that I put below. It's just for your ease at finding it if you want to look at it. So that's it, my C block. Sounds like a prison C block. So for my D movie, oh my gosh, it was so hard because I narrowed it down to four. Let me grab my little bit of care for they were so good so I had to pick between an HBO Max deep blue sea which looked like they were being chased by a giant shark that really was speaking to me and doubt which looked like a like a religious based one like maybe they were like not allowed to speak about something on Hulu devil's not which is about the Memphis Three, which is, so it's loosely based on a true story. And then on Amazon Prime, Drowning Mona. So I went with Drowning Mona because it looked like the most fun out of the three, like it's not gonna be like too bogged down and make me have any um, big emotional things go on, which the last two movies did. Coco was very emotional for me at several parts during the movie and then you know the b movie blackbird was emotional as well so i thought this one will be like a lot and fun and i will get to have some laughs and have some of that humor so if anybody has any suggestions about what color block they would like to see pop up next you can leave it down below in the comments and I will see you guys in a couple weeks and show you what I made and let you know what I think about Drowning Mona and then reveal my e-movie. So bye guys.